Hey, it's Wolfie Chen, and I'm back with another anime review, and this one is of Violet Evergarden. Oh boy. So I had heard kind of around that this wasn't a very bad anime, or a very bad manga. Can't remember which they talked about more, was the manga or the anime, but they thought it was cool. And I was like, hey, it's on Netflix, I bought Netflix. Uh, it looks really beautiful. Why not give it a try? Once again, Netflix has betrayed me and I have sat through the whole season in one day. I, I keep doing this, guys. <laughs> Netflix and Funimation. I, I watch all series if you have it all out in one sitting. Nah. Yeah, but this one, this one is heart-wrenching, heart-gutting. If you want action, if you want a bit of a romance, if you want a really great story, this has legit it all. So in the beginning of this anime, we do meet Violet and her major, Major Gilbert. And what I assumed in the beginning was very not right at the end. So I will do a little spoiler warning. I'm going to give a little bit of details from basically kind of the first half of the anime because really you should watch this <laughs> believe me after um i can't remember if it's episode nine or ten it gets sadder like it, it gets it's really heart-wrenching and all that stuff but all of a sudden it kicks it into gear and it's like a soft plateau of sadness and then whatcha your life and dreams are just sad now <laughs> Oh goodness, it was it's very touching as you get to the end of it. But it is one of those things. Ah, it is heart wrenching. And you find out a lot more about Violet, who is our main character, through the anime. So, spoiler warning, meh, but I'm not gonna give you the ending ending of this anime. Definitely watch it. <laughs> so, um, what I assumed happened to Violet's arms, because as you see in the first episode, you see a little glimpse of the fighting, uh, you see her in the sky, um, and then it goes into her in the hospital. And she's trying to write with a pen with these mechanical arms. So what I assumed in the beginning is that she was carrying the Major, and because she was carrying for so long, or it was just so painful, or her arms just couldn't take the weight, they legit fell off because she couldn't carry him anymore. Because he may have been more heavy than she expected, and her arms just fell off. Really messed up if that was the case. Yes, here's a bit of spoilers. That was not the case. Who? Um... But you see just how close they really were, even though she herself doesn't express many feelings or anything like that. And she's very much like, give me orders, I can't wait for the Major's next orders, all this stuff. We then get to meet, uh, I think he's a colonel, I can't remember, he's retired from the war, he's... The war's not there anymore, he's made a company, he's gonna run it, that's it. Um, but he remembers Violet and is like, okay, so I'm going to hire you. You're going to help work with me. Uh, I am your not new, new general uh, or major or anything like that. Uh, but I, you are taking orders from me and all that good stuff. And it's like, oh, I guess I am under your command for a bit. But is the major okay? He says yes. He doesn't know, or he does know. It's not really specified in the beginning of this. So he takes her to the Evergardens. And it's like, this is the place you're going to be sleeping, all of this stuff. She's having a hard time articulating the fingers and stuff and how to really work them. So she kind of flips the cup and all this stuff. And what they do is, or what this wonderful woman does is she has gloves that she doesn't use anymore and it's like these should cover them up and make it so you know like nobody's first impressions are oh my goodness your hands 
Um, but she's very work motivated. She doesn't really need to eat much. She doesn't need to drink much. All this kind of stuff. So. He starts going out. This guy who's kind of the owner of this company. And she's like. "Is Does the major not want me? I want to do stuff. I want to be there for him. If he's discarding me. Please throw me out. Like the rest of the stuff. And he's like. Why don't you come with me? Uh, and then gives her a job, which is sorting the mail. And she does this with no breaks, no nothing. We meet this other guy who's like a delivery man with heels. With he They make a prominent point, like it is very much with heels. But this is kind of the time frame like when World War II kind of would be. For this island continent, because it's not in America. And it's not in our world. But... In a time frame like this, guys would have worn heels. It, that was a natural thing back then. Uh, even in, during the war. Uh, it slowly kind of went out of fashion for men. And meant more fashion for women. But still. Makes it a point to show that these guys as heels. And they are interesting. Uh, but they're like, sort all this mail. I know that's a lot. Really sorry about that. But by the end of the day, they're like, okay. Oh, Wait, you did all this? Did you take a break? Or lunch? No. They go out to eat. She is like, you need to take breaks. Uh, you need to breathe. Like, please. And she's like, that is not my task. My task at hand is to do my job. And if something like that hinders my job, then it's not cool. It's very, she's very to the point. Um, as you slowly learn, like, Gilbert had an older brother. Uh, the older brother found this girl. Uh, I'm not going to give you any more details on how he found her, but it's like, do not use this girl or do not use it. Kind of. He. It's assumed that he uses it pronouns when he just is like you. But it's like, this is. It's very much not a toy. This is a weapon. Use it as such. Um. Gilbert's just a sweet guy, and you see a little bit of the past with them, and she sees this pendant that has, like, his eye color. Oh, and it's like, it looks like your eyes, so he buys it for her, and that's her brooch. Mmm, it's adorable. Uh, and he takes care of her and takes her uh, with him in the war, but doesn't want her to fight, and then realizes how good she is, and it's like, and I can't keep her away from fighting, so... Uh, and she becomes a very big part of the war. <clears throat> and of course the war slowly comes to an end. So she doesn't, she couldn't go back anyway. Um, but then she goes on to delivering, like after that she delivers letters. <clears throat> and it goes until nighttime again and she's like, you, you need to take a break. Um, and that was kind of part of, she put letters away and then delivered them all throughout the night. And the guy was passing by, I was like, who does night deliveries? <gasps> it's Evergarden. It's Violet. So, Violet overhears uh, the dolls, which dolls are people who write down your letters, make them beautiful, and then they send it to other people because not a lot of people can write. Uh, they can read, I believe. Like, if you're sending letters, I hope everybody can read. Uh, but they are writing for people and so uh violet overhears the conversation about love and she's like what is what does that word mean i heard the major tell me that and i didn't understand it so what does it mean and so she wants to become a doll to understand what love is very touching <clears throat> so she starts to learn typewriter and she goes it by like very fast because her arms are mechanical so she takes off her gloves everyone realizes oh god and tweaks her arms so that you can fine tune it a little bit better which is cool because you see the move into articulation it's really awesome and she types really fast and then it's like uh if you can calm down like your like your sound of typing would be grand so she does that uh her first letter really is horrible because she doesn't get like the pure emotion from people she doesn't have it really and the lady comes back and is like he sent me back the letter it's really messed up 
you read it. And this becomes a law of things. Like, you read this letter and tell me if it's good. She reads it. You see how kind of harsh it is. <clears throat> and she, she doesn't see the issue of it. Or anything like that. Uh, but of course the customers do. Nobody's getting paid for that. <laughs> Nobody's getting paid for that. Say yes. Um, so she then kind of is next to this other doll who's kind of very scared and very kind of like, ah, uh, and this guy is like, really? You make it sound like it's my problem. Like it's a me thing. Dude, it's a kind of you thing because you're mad right now. It's kind of a you thing when you start screaming at a girl. Hmm. Um, and so Violet, being very combat oriented and sees the fight or flight insect uh, uh, instinct in her, is like, okay, I'm gonna deal with this guy. And he grabs her and she does an awesome maneuver and shows him on the desk and is like, tell us what, uh, what really is the problem with your letter. And we will try and make it better. Complaints ensue. Uh, so they then send her to go to school to be an um, auto... I'm not great with the word. <laughs> auto memories doll. I think that's it. It's She's an auto memory doll. So just types things. Uh, she goes to school, meets kind of a friend. Um, and... You know, she, her grammar, her spelling, her everything. She reads books fast. She's very efficient. She gets top marks in, like, the beginning of her days at the school. But by the end, she, she writes, she tries to write a letter for the person that she's with, which her name is, I think, Lucine? Uh, her name, I believe her name starts with an N, but she has a brother who is a drunkard, came back from the board, saw some stuff, PTS. Um, and it's not really great. Um, and she's just trying to do this, doesn't know really what to do with it, but wants to help. Um, but she writes a letter to her parents, it's like there's nothing to report. Um, and even so, Lucy, you know, like, oh, let's make a letter to, you know, your major, because that's who she talks about a lot. Um, she's like, I don't know. <laughs> So they kind of have a bonding moment, and even though she doesn't feel a lot of things and it doesn't seem like a bonding moment, it's bonding. Uh, they go up into this clock tower, see the see the sunset, and all it's beautiful. Uh, and she makes uh, talk about her brother, and then she goes on to what's what's the best wording for this? Like she gets upset because her brother's you know drunk and an idiot. Um, but then she realized the emotions of like, I want to talk to my brother. I want to tell him that I, I love him. He's an amazing brother. I'm just glad that he's alive. And she gets that. So she goes back cause she keeps going back after the graduation cause she didn't get her pin. Um, and writes a letter from the sister to the brother. And it's just that I'm happy that you're back and I'm happy that you were born. And I'm so glad that you're my big brother. And it really touches him. He's really just, and it kind of changes his life a bit. And that's when it starts. She does good with these letters. And it's really cute. It's very sweet. And even uh, the sister comes back and shows the teacher that, like, hey, this is what she wrote to my brother. And then she gets her pen because it's, it's touching. It's emotional and all that good stuff. Um, and then she slowly becomes one of the most asked for people to be a writer. So she travels everywhere. She does, uh, <clears throat> she made a story with the help of an art author. Uh, she's made love letters. She's, um, <clears throat> she was part of the reason why the princess of this country <clears throat> and a prince of another country are now officially married and together and it was the public love letters and that's an amazing episode as is because in the very in the middle of the episode she goes okay so 
it's time that you write letters to him. And they do. And she talks to the other doll who's taking care of the prince, which happens to be the same person from the same company, to write letters to her back. And they, you know, it really touches them. It's really adorable. So it's really sweet. And then she makes it a point, like, I wish Violet could have been here for the wedding, at least, you know. It's really sweet, really touching. I love it. Mm. Uh, and you just see so much good. And even my favorite episode of this whole series. I love a season two, but I don't, I don't know if I'd really need it. Like, it's a very complete story. How it is. It's very upsetting, but it's a very complete story. Um, my favorite episode is when she and a, a lot of auto memories dolls come up. <clears throat> she's basically like typing what this book is so that the pages if they were to disappear or rip up or just you know fade they still have what was in the content of the book so that's what she's doing and of course all these guys who are scholars of this are like so happy that these beautiful dolls are doing this and all this stuff so she gets paired up with um, Leon, I believe his name was. I believe so. Uh, and Leon is like that person that nobody likes to talk to, nobody likes to talk about. He's just, oh, it's Leon. But they make kind of a connection that she can do, you know, she types, he reads. And she's very fast about it. <clears throat> and of course they make it a thing of like, we've done three days worth of work in one day. And of course, the guy who's kind of overseeing all of this is like, even one pair has done three days worth of work in one day. Woo! And I think they've been there like for two weeks kind of thing. And so some of these guys are like, you're really pretty. You shouldn't be working with Leon. His parents are gone. He's, he's a worthless person. And she's like, no, he's a really good person. I have also lost my parents. I don't know what my parents look like. I don't even know if they really exist. So what should it matter? He's very efficient and I can do the work. And they do. And, it's and Leon slowly gets feelings for her and it's so sweet and touching. They see the comment and it's so cute. And, and she's like, I don't need tea and I don't need something to cover me, but he does anyway. It's so cute. I love it, and you, you hear the story about, like, his parents and all of this, and it's so warm and touching, and by the end of the episode, it's like, he's like, I'll travel the world, and I will travel and find you again. It's so cute. <laughs> it's even sweeter, like, because she kind of responds a little bit, but not to his love or anything like that. It's just so sweet. Guy. This is, this is an amazing series. The music to this is, holy snap, it just makes the anime. The actual animation and the beauty of the artwork is amazing. The people, the how she interacts with them, the story, blow my mind with how amazing it is. Yes, it does. It gets to the point where it just it, it goes from ha ha oh, and it rips your heart apart, and it just it just oh, and you find out more about like Gilbert's little brother, and you find out more about him a bit, and you just it's a wonderful story that really everybody should watch. Everybody, it's an amazing anime, and. I couldn't have any more high marks if I read the manga, because I think there is a manga, and I will read it. I will read the potatoes out of that. It's amazing. So, if you like this video, definitely leave a like. Leave it in the comment section below. Have you watched Violet Evergarden? By the way, she did not have that name. Gilbert gave it to her. The Violet part. <laughs> and who's your favorite character? I will admit, it is the guy who wears heels. It's the guy who wears heels, and it's Leon. Those two are like just... I And I do love Violet. She is awesome. She's an awesome character in and of itself. But I do love those guys because they're just 
mm, mm, they're so cute and sweet and funny as as all get up it's awesome i love those guys <clears throat> And definitely don't forget to subscribe that big red button for more anime, manga, or something different coming up. I'll be doing my best to get videos every day from Monday to Friday at around 4.30 my time. So about 3.30 to about 5.30. Hopefully. Hopefully it gets out then. Or 6.30. It, it depends on where you live. <laughs> And if you want to follow me on Twitter or Facebook, the links are down below. And I hope that you've been having a very wonderful day. We'll be chatting out. Woo! Bye.